What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the last episode of Pokemon Light Platinum Nuzlocke. Last episode, you guys, we went to Team Steam's secret hideout, and uh, we found out what the master plan was. They planned to clone Arceus and kind of, well, post Arceus clones in every town and be like, okay, obey us or Arceus will kill you. So, uh, as far as evil plans go, that's, that's pretty bad. Um, in my opinion, it's not as bad as, like, Team Galactic, who wanted to literally destroy the universe and recreate it. So, yeah, I think that's a little worse. This episode, you guys, we are back in Yellow Town, the beginning town, and we're gonna go talk to Professor Jasmine. Because we gotta give her that uh, scripture we found. So, also, um, want to show this off. I evolved um, Axew. We got Axew last up, so you guys I evolved him into Hexorus. So I now have a Hexorus on the team, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, physical attack and speed are amazing. Uh, special defense and physical defense ain't bad. Let's see. Uh, yeah, he has the third highest speed next to Glalie. Uh, sorry, Mr. Freeze and Sam. Which is pretty awesome. Now, Slash, Dragon Breath, Double Kick, which... I was surprised he, he could learn that. And Dragon Claw, so... Yeah. I think I think Hexorce is definitely gonna... Stay on the team for a while. I mean, I will change his name this episode. I promise you guys that. I have a, a... A kind of a funny nickname in mind. Okay, not haha -ha funny, but... <laughs> it's a nickname that I think... Um, I don't know, it's kind of like a nod back to one of my favorite cartoons. Professor Jasmine, I managed to find the last part of the Alpha Scripture. Great, this tablet completes the scripture. Let me take a look. Incredible! Now I know what this is all what this all means. I know why Team Steam is attacking Zoe. Going after the legendary Pokemon. Yeah, I I, I already know that. I mean, we just found out what that master plan was. I'll explain everything. The story begins in a place called the Alpha Universe. Oh, really? Okay. Our story begins at the dawn of time, before the existence of Pokemon. In the Alpha Universe, it was a, that was about to change. An egg appeared, which soon hatched, and the first and most powerful Pokemon, Arceus, was born. Oh, I like this cutscene. Arceus was enormously powerful, but felt alone in an empty world. It was then he created another world, the Distortion World, and Giratina. A very another very powerful Pokemon chosen by Arceus to rule it. She's, I think she said was chosen, but okay. Giratina was also extremely powerful and responsible for the destruction world. A place as empty as the Alpha Universe. Mm. Arce Arceus created still more legendary Pokemon. Next came Dialga and Palkia. Dialga was given power over time, and Palkia over space. They became Arceus' guardians. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Then Arceus created the land, the ocean, and the sky. You mean the oceans. There's more than one ocean, I believe. Along with Pokemon to watch over them. Groudon. Kyogre and Requiza. 
Oh, what, Quasar. I don't know how you pronounce that. Two more Guardians. Ho-Oh, the Rainbow Pokemon. Guardian of the Heavens. And Lugia, Guardian of the Earth, were created. I don't know why she's gonna say she keeps create that okay it's made more legend at one point. I don't know why she has to keep repeating that. Next King West your Ram and Zekrom. The Guardian the Guardians of Life and Death. Is, is, is that true? Was that really what they were made for? I mean I I, I, don't, I don't know. Could be. Like I kind of feel like life and death, um, I mean, the, they're the guardians of life and death, but I think Yavelto and Xerneas are supposed to be the Pokemon that control death and life, because that's what I got from Pokemon Y. Such as Mew, who was responsible for creating all normal, all the normal Pokemon. But recently, Team Steam disrupted the balance of the Alpha Universe using a very powerful radio antenna, which caused fighting between the legendary Pokemon. Really? That... I, I don't know, I, that makes sense, kind of, but I don't think a human radio dish should have been able to reach the Alpha Universe, especially considering it's kind of beyond space and time, I think. Arceus has been using his power to stop these battles, uh, so that's why we kept seeing Arceus show up whenever Team Steam went after the other legendaries. He was trying to stop them. But the effort has weakened him. Giotina, created with power equal to Arceus, is trying to take his throne. Really? Um, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that. Equal to Arceus, I, I find that a little hard to believe. I kind of feel like Giotina, the Alga, and Palkia are equal, but they're not stronger than Arceus. Well, maybe not separately. Arceus is too weak to fight back. Now that Arceus is tired and weakened from stopping so many battles, it's a perfect time for Team Steam to catch it and gain possession of the strongest Pokemon the universe has ever known. Hmm. Team Steam became so interested in Arceus, the world's first legendary Pokemon, because it created all the others. More specifically, the DNA stems from Arceus' DNA. Um, not really, they stem from Mew's DNA, which stems from Arceus, so, I don't know, maybe that's true. Very good, Gray. Seems like you were born to become a legendary trainer. Okay, that's what she normally says. Yeah, a lot of times in this game when people don't talk and you have to talk to them again before you're allowed to leave. Okay, so that was that. Now we're gonna head back to Drake Bluff City. And take on the gym? Mayhaps? I don't know. But before we do that, I actually want to find the name where the guy so I can change H Hector's name. Uh, no, that's not going to be his name. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Alright. Alright. Here's, here's the nickname i chosen for Hexaurus. I'm calling him Hacker. Out of, like, the villain from the Cyber Chase. Uh, cartoon, if you guys ever saw it, it's <laughs> a pretty awesome cartoon. It's mostly for children because, well, it's on PBS, so, yeah. I, I don't know, I just felt like that was a pretty, it's a good name for Hexos, like Hacker. Because whenever Hacker's gonna beat other legendaries or, uh, well, other Pokemon, you know, Hacker's gonna win for once. <laughs> Alright, so Hacker the Hexaurus. Alrighty. So let's go fight the gym leader. 
Oh, oh, you can go in here. Mount Dragon. Yeah, but the names of these mountains aren't very original, honestly. Draken, Drake Breath, and the uh, Ultra Wall, perfect. Yeah, I wish I could catch a Pokemon in this mountain. Like a wild Pokemon, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I guess not. No. Oh yeah, this is the... Um, one of the leaders of Team Steam. <coughs> You really are predictable. Even after studying your movements, Team Steam doesn't know much about you. But we knew you were coming, or going to come here and try and interfere with our plans. You don't have a chance. I'll catch Arceus, and I'll beat you here and now. Ah, uh, okay, Percy. You can have water Pokemon? Oh, he actually looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, that's... that's not water Pokemon. It's not a water Pokemon! Oh, Tyranitar! Okay. Ooh, Flash. Oh, wait, he's Pokemon level 58. Oh, shoot. That could be a problem. It could be a problem. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, fudge. Oh, oh it's confused. Okay. I'm not going to use a super potion, I'm going to use a hyper potion just because, fine. Yes! Alright, Tyranitar took itself out. Perfect. And a Garchomp. A Garchomp, okay. Alright, Mr. Freeze. This Garchomp is four times weak to ice. I, I know, I know you're seven levels below him. But you gotta take him out. Can you? Alright, you, you can survive a Dragon Claw. Good. But can you take him out? One hit. Can you? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You rock. Oh, he only had two Pokemon. Well, that was amazing. But you'll never be strong enough to stop Team Steam. Nine grand? Damn! We're getting more money from Team Steam than we are from gym leaders. That's sad. <coughs> I'll accomplish Team Steam's goals at any cost. Have fun with that. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm a little underleveled. Just a little. Hopefully I can beat the gym leader. Hopefully. I mean, Mr. Freeze is gonna put in a majority of the work, I think. I, I don't want to send Hacker out because Dragon is a weak to Dragon. I don't want to lose him because of a crit. Oh. Okay. Not talking to me. Fine. Oh, here's Kaori. Look, Gray, things have already gotten out of control. Beside me is Ash Ketchum, who, as you already know, is world champion. Then why'd you tell me that if you thought I already knew that? And Wesley, Drake, Drake Worth Jim. Drake Burst City's gym leader. Okay, I am definitely certain that Wesley is the name of the guy who created this worm hack. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I think we got here too late. Wesley and Ash were defeated by Zero. Zero? Do I do I know a Zero? Hmm. It's it's Lelouch. Lelouch is the leader of Team Steam. Confirmed. He is without a doubt the most powerful member of Team Steam. Yeah, see, I keep hearing that. I keep hearing like the new leaders or admins are badass, but then a new guy shows up and suddenly he's the more badass one. He might even have enough power to capture Arceus and rule the world. <clears throat> Arceus, weakened from stopping so many battles between Legendary Pokemon. Will be easily defeated and captured. Right now, it's being attacked by three of the strongest Pokémon in the world: Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. I think we're out of options. You're our last chance. Shocker. Oh, don't even get the chance to say no. Okay. Yeah, this was, I think this was like the beginning intro to the game when we just see Giratina, Arceus, and Palkia just attacking, oh, 
Tialga, Giotina, and Palkia attacking Alkius. Jose, you idiot, hurry up! This might be our only chance to capture Arceus! Yeah, they're just letting them do it. I was chosen to capture you. Fear proud, Arceus. I'll catch you with the Alpha Ball. Soon, you'll be a part of Team Steam! I thought Zero was supposed to capture Arceus. Oh. Okay. Oh, come on, I just fainted his Pokemon. Come on. Oh, oh, here it goes. Is, is he gonna capture Arceus? Oh, one Pokeball. Not even at half health. Damn. This is incredible. We have the world's greatest power. Now we'll be invincible. And everything's gonna go to shit. We'll rule this planet! Yeah, guess not, huh? Impossible. Oh, guess escape! He has even more power in this alpha mode. <laughs> the Algon Palkia decided to peace out. Impossible. My perfect plan failed. The Alpha Ball was destroyed. Everyone watch out. Arceus is banning Giotina to the distortion world. And anyone nearby will be sent there with it. Ugh, and we just stand right there. My dream for Team Steam is over and over. But I can still at least catch Giotina. Oh, oh, we're in the distortion world. Okay. Well, this is a nice little tie back to Pokemon Platinum. Hopefully, it's not as annoying to navigate. I wonder if I can catch a Pokemon here. I mean, besides like Giotina, because we sure we're, we're gonna get the chance to. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, one problem I had was with the uh, distortion world that it was kind of hard to figure out where I'm, where I was supposed to be going. Just a little bit. No, oh, there's zero. So well, this must be the right way. I see you're also taken to the distortion world. You know that I've been keeping an eye on you. Well, that's not creepy. And you really seem a lot like me. Huh, <laughs> you wish. I don't want to fight you, but when we were sucked into the distortion world, we were condemned. Oh, don't say it like that. There's gotta be a way out of here. The only way to get out of here is to catch a Giotina and use its powers to escape. Are you sure that's the only way? Can't we just ask nicely? I mean, I mean, sometimes please and thank you are the only words you need. Finding Giotina in a place like this is impossible. No, it's not. We're doomed to die here. Wait, I mean, catching Giotina is the single most important thing in my life. I have to catch it at any cost, and that makes you my only threat. I have to defeat you. Wow, that changed quickly. What happened to not wanting to fight me? Oh, he's got his elements. Oh, Mr. Free, you are badass. Taking his elements down in one hit. And a guard jump again. Oh, yeah. Hi, Dragon. My dragon. That's dark dragon, so... We're faster than it, apparently, which is awesome. Whew, if we were slower, we would have died. I took out half our health. Well, almost half. It did 80. This is so real. I know! Except for the high dragon, I one-shotted your team. And I'm almost 10 levels below you, dude. Your power is incredible. Someday I'll even summon you to join me in leading Team Steam. Eh, I'm gonna have to refuse. But wait, now I have to find Giotina. Okay. Alright, so that went better than I honestly thought it would've. Oh man, I was I was kind of worried when he hit me with the Dragon Claw. 
but apparently Mr. Freeze is badass. I am so glad I'm he's on my team. Oh well, that didn't take very long at all. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, oh, we actually get to fight Giotina. Can we catch Giotina? Uh, crunch. It's part ghost. Oh, super effective and did nothing. Super power. Oh my god. Oh my god. It has super power. Right, but I, I think it's like attack drop too? Or is it just its speed? Okay. Alright, you know what? You know what? Keep using super power, Giotina. Keep using super power. See how well that works out for you. And try and catch you. I'm not gonna use the master ball. Let's, we got 35 ultra balls. Let's try them. Okay, that one that did nothing. Okay, that did nothing. Come on, I can catch you. I I know I can. I it wiggle. <laughs> that sounds so weird. It just wiggle. Good, good. Keep lowering your attack all you want, dear <sighs> Come on. I know I can catch you. How much PP does the superpower have, actually? Oh, it's got crunch. I wasn't overly worried, honestly. Wait, come on. Come on, Giotina. You want to join me. You want to be on my team. I mean, I probably won't actually put him on the team, but... Shh. He doesn't have to know that. Okay, this is getting a little concerning. Hmm. Right, I'll try three more Ultra Balls if that doesn't work. Actually, you know what? You know what? I am going to use the Master Ball. I, I am. Um, probably should have said it for Arceus, but... Ah, uh, fuck it. Alright, so we caught Giotina. Giotina is a Pokemon that is said to live in a world on the reverse side of Oz. It appears in ancient cemetery. Okay. I got a good name for this one. Uh, Giotina. I'm gonna call him... Lu... Uh, yeah. There we go. Lucifer. Because, I don't know, Giotina is kind of like the devil of the Pokemon world, the universe, really. He's called a renegade Pokemon, and Lucifer was like a renegade angel. Now, Giotina, open a portal to the normal world. Get us out of here. Oh. Okay. So, I wish that the old, um... Master Ball. Hopefully I, that doesn't come back to bite me. Well, I'm glad you got back safely from the distortion wound. I knew no being in that strange place must have been hard. I'm so happy you got out. Professor Jasmine and I were going crazy trying to figure a way to rescue you. Wesley, the Drake Birth City Gym Leader, is waiting for a battle. I hope you can defeat him and challenge him Elite Four. Maybe even myself. See you soon, friend. I was about to tell you what happened after you and Zill got sucked into the portal. The other two leaders of Team Steam took advantage of our destruction and fled. 
Arceus just used Teleport and Vanish without Trace. So, I think it's still in the normal mode. That's... Mm. So, I got a Giratina in the PC. Okay. That's pretty cool. Like I said, I probably could have kept using Ultra Ball, but I didn't want to swap out to anyone else because I was scared, really, of Giotina. I mean, it used Super Power a lot, so I don't think... I don't know, I think my other Pokemon would have been okay, but... Uh, didn't want to risk it. Alright, so we got Giotina. Well, Lucifer, the Giotina. Oh, look at those stats! That's awesome. 111 special attack, 134 special defense, 152 physical defense, 107 physical attack. Not bad. Got superpower, dragon claw, crunch, and shadow ball. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Hopefully, I don't have to. I don't know. I think if Hacker dies, then maybe I'll add Giotina, but. I don't know. Alright, before we take on the gym, I want to get some more potions. Alright, we got a lot of money now. Alright. Alright, can I get any more Ultra Balls? That would be nice. Two. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. No, that's what I came for. Alrighty. So let's take on the Drake Breath City Gym. What do you guys say? Okay. This is the hardest gym in Zoe. Are you prepared? A little. Hopefully. Even with agility, was still faster. That's kind of sad. Oh, Mr. Freeze wants to learn Blizzard naturally. Mmm. No. No, sorry. Shogun. Alright, Hacker. You're ten levels above it. I, I believe you can kill this thing. Okay. Don't give me a chance. Oh yeah, he will. He'll give me a chance, and I'll beat him. Hopefully. You want to challenge a dragon apprentice? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, Gabite. This could be a problem. <laughs> that slash did nothing. What was I worried about? Alright, and... Oh, that's neat. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go that way eventually, aren't we? That's my prediction. I didn't see what that. Oh, we're right in here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Considering my fight, I just defeated your dragons. I don't think you got much room to talk, dude. Oh, Fracture! I remember you, I had a Pokemon! Well, I had you. I had a Fracture. Haha, <sighs> I got the flinch. Oh my god. Oh, we got Paralysized, really? I'm pretty sure I have full heals. Yeah, 10. Probably should have bought a little more, but <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Oh, is that it? That's a pretty short gym, dude. Alright, let's heal up fully. And, uh, let's, let's do it. 
Welcome to Drake Quest Gym. This is the last gym of the Zoe League, so it's the most renowned and difficult of all. Be strong and get ready for I will defend this gym with all the power my Pokemon possesses. Alright, what you got? Oh, you got five. He looks actually pretty cool, actually. The Kingdra. Oh, oh, you're not staying out for that one. Alright, Thunderbolt. I think we flinch. Yeah, pretty sure we did. Ah, I thought he was gonna use a full store there or something. Alright, Blake, leveled up. God chomp. Tsunami. Uh oh. Uh oh. We used we used dig. Don't like that. Uh oh. Oh, you kidding me? Come on, you earthquake! And, and just destroyed me. Bullshit! Oh, oh there goes my water Pokemon. Fantastic. Wasn't on the team for very long either. That's depressing. And I know I was just kind of one shot him, but I don't care anymore. <sighs> well, now that you defeated me, you can go on to Chance of Zuri Elite 4, also you won the Claw Badge. Neat. For so Claw Badge, you can use Waterfall, so I fell. And climb Waterfalls to get to Elite 4, here's another game. Is that Dragon Claw? Yeah. Okay, whatever. Wait. I didn't think Earthquake would do that much damage. Ah, especially considering I had mostly full health. Oh man. All right. Just. Mm. Well, that's depressing. Okay, you know what? I want to get rid of the amulet coin. I like using Tsunami because of the ground attribute. Oh, we lost 18 Pokemon. That's sad. 18. And we only have like 17 in the PC. Alright, so I could put in Randy the Shot Galvana or Dory the Goldeen. Uh, I'm not gonna do that this episode, you guys. Not this episode, the wound. The wound is too raw. Alright, so we gotta go all the way back up there to... Go to... Where we need to use Waterfall. Which, I don't think we have that. No, we don't. And I don't know where we get it. I don't. I'll probably find out next episode or... Oh, wait. I forgot. We don't have a water Pokemon, so we can't surf. So um, instead we have to go back to Snow Sea City and just run all the way back there. Do I have any more pills? should check on that real quick. Oh, super repels, perfect. So this is going to be a long trip back. Okay, maybe not as long as I feared, but... Okay. <laughs> Just in time, too. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't... I don't know how we get Waterfall. Maybe we have to go back to Yellowtown? And talk to Professor Jasmine again. Maybe. Nope. Is our mom gonna give us waterfall? No. 
Well, anyway, you guys, that's actually why I'm going to leave it off for this episode. Next episode, I'll find out where to get Waterfall. Decide what to do about the water Pokemon. Actually, you know what? You know what? Before I do that, before I end off the episode, we're actually going to get an encounter for Drake Quest City. I mean, I know we got, um, Hacker, but, you know what? That's a given Pokemon, so I don't think that counts. But let's see what can, what we can encounter with Drake Breath. And it is a Magikarp. A Magikarp. Okay. Thunder Wave. Does anyone have a move that won't instantly one shot this magic card? No, don't think so. So I'm just gonna have to full Pokeballs at it. Lovely. Oh, okay. Probably didn't need to use an Ultra Ball, but alright. Magikarp is a perfect excuse for a Pokemon that's only capable of flopping and splashing. Well, that's not very nice. I think Magikarp's pretty awesome. This behavior prompted scientists to undertake research into it. Alright, a female Magikarp. A female Magikarp. Hmm. I'm not gonna call it Leviathan because that's really more of a male name. Mm. What's the name? What's a good name for female magic card? Hmm. I can't think of anyone. Um. Just gonna call her. Sir the Pentia. I think that's a villain in Power Rangers, but I'm I'm probably wrong. The speed's actually pretty good for level 32. Tackle, flail, splash. Wasn't really expecting much. <laughs> Alright you guys, for real, this is going to be the end of the episode. If you liked it, leave a comment. Um, leave a like on the video too, please. Don't forget to go check out my other Let's Plays and give them some attention. I hope you enjoyed this one, obviously. And I'll see you guys next time for the next episode where we will uh, probably head to the Zoe League. And I don't think we'll make it through Victory Road, but we might. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.